good morning. I wanted to show you a little bit and do a video on a day in the life of me as a reseller and the, some of the stuff that I do. Uh, first, it is like 10.30 in the morning and I've already been at it for a couple hours, three hours actually. I start the morning off watching Adventures in Reselling, Victoria's channel. And while, usually while I watch her channel, I'm drinking my first cup of coffee in the morning. And then I head down to my office and I start packing up my orders. And, and then after that, I today I've already done a what sold on eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and Etsy video. I'll put a link to that up here somewhere. And hopefully this wind isn't too loud out here, but I thought for once I would do a little video in my backyard to welcome you guys to my, my video I'm gonna be doing. So I'm heading to the post office. I wanted to show you my post office and how tiny it is. And then I am gonna be heading to Walmart to see if there's any good clearance items to grab. And there's a couple things I wanna look for like basketball cards. And then there's another new toy that I just heard about that's selling pretty hot. So I wanted to see if I could find any of those. And somebody's rubbing my feet. Say hi, Pip. Here's my Pippi. Oh, there's a bug. All right, <laughs> great way to start off my first video outdoors, have a bug fly into my face. All right, let me go grab my packages so we can uh, head off to the post office. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Hey, let me give you a quick tour of my space here as I'm walking in from, we have a walkout basement and this is my semi cluttered, but I know where everything is, um, basement or my working space. So first I'll show you, this is my packaging station right here of where I store all my packaging supplies. And then I do have all of this stuff is stuff to be listed on eBay or or for Amazon because it might be holiday stuff. And then this is all stuff right here that needs to be listed still. My profit pile or whatever you want to call it. And then all of this stuff right here, this is all stuff that is currently listed. And my tote system. And then over here is my uh, photo booth type of area. And it's a little cluttered. Same with over here. But this is my mail that I need to drop off at the post office today. That's right there. That's my desk. Very cluttered. I had this so cleaned in like April and it just really got crazy again. And some of you have already seen my inventory system because I have a video that talks about how I run my inventory system. And I will link that one right here too so you can take a look if you haven't seen it. But this is where all my inventory and my totes. And then I have some more over here that I just started this week. So that's it. My little, my little friend who came in with me, he has this little sitting perch right there because I have bird feeder. And he will sit and look at the birds and entertain me while I am working. So, all right, I'm going to grab my packages and we're going to head out to the post office. All right, I'm all packaged up and I did want to point out something. If you've never seen these Ikea bags and you're not currently using them, there's something that you can buy right now on Ikea's website for 99 cents with a flat rate of $5 in shipping. They are great for using when you go garage sailing to the Goodwill bins, and I love using them to bring back and forth my packages to the post office. Well, I'm gonna give this uh, talking on camera, on video while I'm driving a shot. So I'm leaving my house. We're heading to the post office to drop off my packages. Like I said earlier, I'm going to head over to Walmart. Um, a friend just actually sent me a message and told me there are some new Panini football cards that have just come out. Don't need those when I'm driving. And so uh, they look like they're in like a white and purple box. So I'm going to look for those today and see if I can find them. Wave to my hubby who is working on his Jeep. 
changing something in it. You know, if you have a Jeep Wrangler, you know, especially if you use it for off-roading and for fun, like we do, that those things are money pits and they always need something. There's always something that needs to be done to them, some upgrade or whatever. And that's where we're at right now. I think axle seals or I don't know. I don't, he talks things and tells me what he's doing, but I don't really understand cars, so I don't know. I just know that he's working on something else again. And uh, so I was on a show last night with, let's see, the Thrifting Goomba, El Cubanosco. I don't know if I'm saying that right, and uh, Oscar, and the Thrifting Goomba, who's Michael, uh, a good friend of mine and John Nevermore Antiques. They invited me onto their show. They do a show on Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. And Michael asked me if I wanted to come on. He knows that I don't, I don't stay up till 10 p.m. very often because I'm usually up at like four or five in the morning. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll jump on. And I was actually editing a video for a new channel that my husband and I started called 100 Acre Wood. If you are not following that already, you should check it out. It's about our homesteading, our property. Um, here in uh, Northern New York, we have over 100 acres and we just are just kind of discovering this type of lifestyle and what it's like to live like this. We've always lived, you know, in a, you know, close to a city and neighborhood and that kind of stuff. Like the last house we had, was the most acreage we ever owned and it was a one acre. So for us to have a hundred acres, it's just really been interesting to discover what's on the property and what kind of things can we do with it. Um, we went mushroom hunting this spring and found some morels and some chaga and let's see right now, pheasant back. And then today, Tony went out, yes, not today, but yesterday and he said he thinks we have some chicken of the wood coming up so he's pretty excited about that i don't eat mushrooms but he does and so he's really been enjoying it it is windy today so i am in the country and let me see, i don't i'm not gonna i was gonna flip the camera and show you where i'm at maybe sometime i'll do a a video showing you the outside but oh my gosh i don't know if you can see in the back window here it's like so cloudy uh, not cloudy, but the wind is blowing the cornfield. The corn's only probably maybe four inches tall, and it's just blowing the dirt all around. So we had a big dust storm. But here in New York, we don't normally get dust storms, but it is definitely windy today. I know that people in the Midwest, upper Midwest, Michigan, Wisconsin area, had some pretty strong storms yesterday, and I'm guessing this might be from that. Yeah, I wonder if it's, it's probably from Cristobal, I'm thinking. So I think Cristobal was supposed to go like north of us once it hit land and, and started tracking up into Canada. I don't think it was gonna hit us, but it looks like we're probably getting some of the wind from it. It was calling for rain today, but right now it is a beautiful day out. It's sunny, partly cloudy. It's just a really good day besides the wind. Like it is really blowing these trees. I suspect we might have the possibility of losing some power in the area. Uh, so yeah, so that show last night was really fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. We got done a little after 11 p.m. and hung out with them for another, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, just chatting backstage. And it was just, it's nice. It's, it's just nice connecting with other resellers. And, you know, it's been a little bit of a struggle in some ways um, to be able to balance YouTube and everything else. So... Um, I'm at the post office, so I am going to show you my little tiny post office. So, hold on. So here you go, here's my little post office. I'm talking through my mask, because here in New York it is a requirement that we wear a mask. And let's see, I'm gonna walk in and put it to the side so Peter may or may not wanna be on video. Hi, I'm uh, recording a YouTube video here for a minute. If you don't mind, I'll, I'll try not to get you on camera. But I just wanted to show, I'm always talking about how small my post office is. So see, these are, my town has post office boxes. And 
This is the size of the lobby. So when they talk about keeping a six foot distance, it's really hard when you're in here. All right, I'm dropping off my packages. Alrighty, so that is my little post office. And uh, I was actually talking to Peter after I turned it off, that's his name. And he, um, so my post office is only open from 9.30 in the morning to one o'clock. But sometimes, is a pain if it is a if it's a good garage selling sailing day that type of thing like I have to either have somebody else bring my items to the post office or try and get back by one o'clock um, or I'll just go to another post office and drop them off while I'm garage sailing so it's, sometimes it's a pain that it's not open at eight because I like to get up and get out of the house and not just be hanging around but my husband just called me and he said, hey, he's got to pick up some tires for his ATV. He had to buy some two new tires and he's going to have them put them on, put it on, he said. So it must be put it on the rim or something. I don't know because we're not bringing the whole ATV. But he asked me if I wanted to go with him. And I said no at first because I got some stuff I got to get done today. But then I thought, well, what the heck? It gives me another chance to hit up another Walmart because it's about an hour away from here and I could look for those football cards as well as the basketball cards I guess even maybe the Bowman baseball although my baseball cards haven't sold yet gives me a chance to kind of look up those and see if I can find anything and check out their clearance I haven't been to that store in a while and then tomorrow I'm actually heading to New Hampshire, well, Vermont, New Hampshire area, my sister just got new, she bought a new house last fall and she's renovating it and she just got some new cabinets and needed some help putting it up. She had a contractor who just wasn't doing a good job. So hold on, I gotta clear that off my screen. She had a contractor who wasn't doing a very good job and so she was gonna hire them again, which I don't know why you would ask somebody back who didn't do a very good job to begin with but she was gonna have him back to put up her cabinets and I asked my husband if he would want to go over it's a five-hour drive so he said he'd be happy to help out and I checked with my brother to see if he was available to go over and and help my husband and he is so the two of them who have experience doing construction type stuff can get that done all right well hopefully you guys can hear me with my my phone and stuff. Like I said, it's my first time doing this, but I will figure it out. I'm kind of excited about maybe doing things like this. I have my GoPro. I'm using my phone right now, and I do have a GoPro. Uh, I was thinking about setting that up in my car so it's facing me instead of, right now, most of the time we use it is um, my husband in his Jeep. When we go off-roading, we usually will videotape that and that stuff I'll put on that other channel that I was talking about, the 100 Acre Wood. We'll put his Jeep Adventures, where last year we went to, from New York, we drove down to West Virginia and went to a Jeep Jamboree, and then we went to Tennessee and the Knoxville area and hit some trails there. And we just had so much fun. We just love traveling. And that's one of the things that reselling gives gives me. Uh, my husband is, is uh, retired, so with me working a full-time job before we moved over here it really kind of still tied us down and we couldn't really do much stuff and we're empty nesters my baby's gonna be 26 this year so you know we just really want to take advantage of still being young enough to enjoy life and not be tied down we see so many people who work until their 60s they retire and then something happens to them and we just feel like we're really fortunate that we can do something now. So I see, just looking, oh, I guess he's moving. Uh, there was a police car up ahead. It looks like a police truck. He's got his lights on, but it doesn't, it looked like he was stopped in the middle of the road, but I guess it does look like he's moving. I thought maybe we'd be able to get some exciting police footage on my channel. Uh, I was watching What's the Hails the other day, and he was on somebody else's channel, and he was saying how, put the police on your channel, because that works. Mention the cops. And uh, so I'm like, hey, 
I'll be able to put the cops on my channel and maybe that'll help me. Um, I guess I can put a cop on my channel anytime because actually a couple of our really good friends here when we moved over are law enforcement. One's a, a state trooper and one is now a detective for the sheriff's office and then his wife is actually a state trooper also. So we are uh, very supportive of our, our law enforcement. And, um, oh, there's a dead deer. Oof. I hate that. I hate seeing the dead animals. Well, the dead deer especially, because that's, you know, meat we could put on our, on our table. The dead skunks, I don't really care about those. As long as it's not hit in front of my house, because I don't want to be smelling that all the time. I say that, but we do have, so I live in a house that is kind of like a log cabin, but it's not a log, it's not a log cabin, but the inside has tongue and groove, pine, uh, we got a beautiful stone fireplace, I mean it's just, where we live now is, is a dream home, and my husband and I have both said many times that we wish we could have moved here years and years and years ago, and we just love it. But my husband's a hunter and we have his mounted uh, deer on the wall and he shot a bear last year and we're actually getting a full mount of the bear to put in, into our great room. And uh, we have a skunk. So he got a skunk that has mostly white on it and just a little tiny bit of black. And he wanted to do the fur so we could hang the fur on the wall. I know, I know, I don't get it, but we did it. And, but that skunk, when it's a warm day out, and we don't have central air, so our house can get warm, and that skunk smells so bad. Like, you can still smell it when you're walking by, probably like a 20, only probably a 20 foot radius around it, and you can smell it. If you're further than that, you don't really smell it. And it's just a slight, slight hint, but sometimes I'll sit in the dining room, and it's close to the entrance of the dining room, and I'll be in the dining room like I was last night when I was live on that show and I could just smell the skunk. So, ugh, yucky. You know, it's, I, my daughter loves the smell of skunk. I should give it to her as a gift. She can hang it in her house. Isn't that weird? People have a certain scents that they love and other scents they don't. You know, I am just rabble, rambling on, right? Y'all thought, hey, I'll come on the show and watch Tamara do some shopping and some RA, some shipping. Oh, here comes a fire truck. I gotta pull over. So maybe that's where the police was going. I would guess that he was responding to something going on. Well, hopefully everyone's safe. Oh, there goes another police, but he turned that way. Yeah, I hate hate hearing sirens like that because you hope that everybody's okay and nobody's hurt. So here where I live in St. Lawrence County, New York, we are in phase two. So we so I was mentioning earlier in New York State, it is um, Governor Cuomo it made it mandatory that everybody wear a mask when you are out in public and you're going to be six feet close, you know, six feet or more. Well, that pretty much got extended that pretty much anytime you go out in public, you pretty much need to wear a mask. Like if you're going to go into any store, obviously if you're not, if you're walking in the park or something, you don't need to, but any stores you have to. And he also made an executive order that said that if you, a store can deny you from going in if you're not wearing a mask. So all of the stores around here pretty much have, you have to wear a mask. And I don't think, I don't know of any stores that are not enforcing it. Oh, I take that back. We have a little corner store and the staff, the staff in the store aren't even wearing a mask and they don't, they don't enforce it. I don't go in there. Not because of that, but just because I don't go there that often. I live in a very small rural area. We have no good wheels here. We have a Salvation that's a half hour from me, but it has not reopened yet. We have a couple very small thrift stores, and I was going to try and run into one of them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to now that I'm going to be running with my husband 
to a town called Malone is where I'm going. But I might, if I get time, I might run in. If I can run into Walmart pretty quickly, I think I'm just going to run in and look for the basketball and baseball or yeah, the cards, basketball, baseball, and football. Probably going to look at the clearance section a little bit. I don't know what the rules are in my Walmart for videotaping and I don't, I don't know if I will, I'll probably videotape, but I probably am not going to talk. I'll try and do voiceover. I've never done a voiceover before, so I don't really know how to do that. But I do have Filmora, and I'm sure there's a way to do it in Filmora. I don't know. I guess we'll try new things today. It's kind of exciting to expand my, my channel and doing some of these other things that I've been wanting to do for a while, but just really hadn't taken the plunge or even figured out how to do it. It's probably the biggest thing. Not that I have been like nervous or not wanting to do it but it's just figuring out how to do it and I don't know we're just gonna give it a shot right we'll see how it goes uh so we have some in my town we have so I was saying very very small amount of shopping we have a TJ Maxx it's a half hour from me but the closest to me is a town called Potsdam and some of you, if you're hockey fans, there is a school here called Clarkson University. It's got a really good hockey team. And we also have a SUNY Potsdam and a SUNY Canton. And St. Lawrence University is all within the, the close vicinity of me. But for stores that are closest to me, I have a Tractor Supply, Walmart, a Big Lots, um, let's see, Walgreens, and so welcome back. The phone fell because I don't have a thing for it yet, so I'm leaning it against my clock in my car. It's raised up a little bit in the Highlander, is what I have. So um, Harbor Harbor Freight was the name of this the other store I was trying to think of that we have. So that's it. Like there is hardly any shopping in my area. So if I travel 30 minutes into a town called Messina, there is a TJ Maxx there as well as another Big Lots and a GameStop. And, and an Ollie's and BJ's is there. But we have no Costco, no Sam's Clubs, no Targets. If I wanna go to any of those type of stores, then I have to travel three or two hours, two, two and a half hours to a town called Watertown, which is where Fort Drum is, an army base and they have some stores there but even then it's still not a huge amount of stores but that is where Kohl's and there's a Five Below and what else is there Bed Bath & Beyond but it's a very small Bed Bath & Beyond I'll go shopping there but most of the time I like to travel to Burlington Vermont and I'll do some shopping there um, but I like to travel anywhere I'll, I'll head down to Syracuse area and hopefully over the over the this channel's lifetime you'll get to see me traveling to some of those areas and look I do both thrifting in those areas plus retail arbitrage lately I've been doing more retail arbitrage when I travel except for when I do go to Burlington because they have the Goodwill there and I do like going to the Goodwills there's two of them in that town and I like to hit them up so well we are going to be pulling into Walmart here wish me luck I hope I can find some of the panini uh, mosaic basketball cards and I guess there's some new uh, football cards that just came out today I think today so I hope I can find them I don't know when they stock the cards here in my area so I don't know whether or not I will be lucky enough to find them and then, of course, we'll go take a look into the clearance aisle and see. There hasn't been very good clearance here lately. Electronics was doing some good clearancing, but I was not getting lucky. I have to hold the phone as I go around the corner. Oh, I have to fall again. I've not been getting very lucky in finding stuff. Although I did find some GoPro items. I'm trying to think if it was this Walmart. I think it was this Walmart. So they had some GoPro items that were marked down. And one item, which is like the tripod thing, was originally $60 and I got it for 17. So I did list that on Amazon FBM as well as they had the head strap. And that was only $5. But 
you know, I checked Brickseek and all the other Walmarts around me. They do not have them on sale. So, or, on, you know, on clearance. So I'm not really sure why this store decided to clear them out where the other ones didn't. So I watched the Bearded Picker and he's always talking about, I think this guy's backing up. He's always talking about um, Walmarts, single door Walmarts versus double door Walmarts. And you know, when I, where I came from in Vermont, they only have single door Walmarts besides, you know, calling the garden center a door because they have no, what we call super Walmarts in Vermont. So there's no grocery. There's like a very small amount of non-perishables you can buy but they have no like grocery section in any walmart in vermont and a funny fact before i turn you off and we head into walmart is also in vermont they have no their state capital has no mcdonald's have you ever heard of that a state capital with no mcdonald's in the state capital montpelier vermont no mcdonald's so all right let's head in and let's hopefully find some cards all right Hey, you like my mask? New England Patriot, baby. Gotta love it. All right, let's go shopping. Looks like they have Lysol back in stock. Sports car oh, looks pretty empty. Looks pretty empty. Let's see up here. I don't see any. That's empty. None of these look like the ones I was told to look for. Those are 2019. Those are score. Oh, they don't look like they're any of the ones I was looking for. Ah, oh, we struck out. Bummer. Just in case somebody misplaced them. I don't see any. Oh, wait a minute, here's some football. Those are old football. see any let me look just behind me this is all the as seen on tv stuff so no not there all right let's go check the clearance section see if i can find anything there so on my way to clearance i saw this pool section you know the thing is that walmart they have the pool stuff is in many different spots so that's interesting. Water skipping ball. Hmm. Oh. No pool here. We'll go look in the outdoor section. All right, more pool stuff. I don't see anything. That has been a hot seller for me. Did any of you see anything that you've been selling? 
that I'm walking by. I think I've scanned almost all of this so far. You know what I just did? I broke the, the rule. I went down the wrong, the wrong direction of that aisle, which means I'm gonna go down the wrong direction of the clearance aisle. See that? Do not enter. But I'm entering, I'm the only one here. Let's see what we got. So this might be good. I'm going to put it in my cart and scan it after when I stop videotaping. So I already scanned all this underwear and picked out what was worth grabbing. If you look at my video I did on, let's see, Saturday or Sunday? I was prepping an FBA shipment. I sent in some underwear. Hmm, oh, Legos. I don't know if they're worth grabbing. I'm gonna throw some in my cart and do some scanning. And then I'll come back and grab what's, what's worth grabbing. That's one thing when I'm using my phone, I can't scan as much as I would like to. There's those two. Not bad. Oh, and here's a $3 Hatchimal. Oh, it's a puzzle. Hey, those sold really well for me last year. Baby Alive. I'm gated in Baby Alive. Oh, these are finally down to two dollars. I'll have to scan them too. All right, I'm gonna stop the video so I can do some scanning, and I'll I'll come back. It's actually four fifty, even though it says seven dollars. Same with this one. And I did go back and pick up all those Legos. Let's see, they got a lot of bedding. Price is still high in them. So I'm gonna do a little more scanning. You need an ironing board? Four dollars for an ironing board. I don't need one. One of the advantages of working from home is you don't have to iron anymore. But I do have an iron board anyhow. Alright, I'm going to go look for one more thing in the toy section.
way down that way. Might be down this way. Let's see. I don't even really know what they look like. How many of you are screaming at me right now because you're like, grab those, grab those, you can make money on them. But I'm not going to scan stuff today except for the specific things I'm looking for. So, all right. So I just saw it. I'm going to go back and scan it. going to sourcing that's the best part of this job is shopping bummer I didn't find any of the cards I was really hoping to find some the last time I went there empty which was I think Monday Monday or Tuesday now must have been Monday because today's Thursday and of course they're empty again today so I don't know when they restock there are people who make friends with the manager and and find out when the person comes in because I guess when it comes to like the trading cards, I don't know if it's all trading cards, like Pokemon and all those, Yu-Gi-Oh. If it's the same as it is for the sports, but I've been told that the sports cards are not stocked by Walmart. They're stocked by like a third party that comes in and stocks them. Kind of like your Pepsi and your Coke people, they come in to your stores and, your, and stock that stuff instead of the store doing it. I guess it's kind of a way that they pay to get that space in the stores. They provide the man hours to get it up on the, the store shelves instead of Walmart paying for stocking people. So, oh well. Um, so I'm gonna uh, get home, unpack this, and then I am going to head out to another Walmart and hopefully we'll get lucky with that one and stuff um you know I was talking to a lady I wasn't recording at the time because I was scanning those Fisher Price I think they're Fisher Price those little like ac action men or whatever and um you know I was waiting for the price to drop on those because I was thinking that they would be really good once the price drops and she was kind of hovering like right behind me she even reached in at one point one point right under me as I was grabbing something and grabbed the same thing I was grabbing and she literally was like right on top of me the whole time and so I just I hate when people do that and I didn't really take the time I just scanned them with the app and I looked to see if they were profitable and they weren't or maybe the profit was like a dollar and I you know honestly I've gotten more picky as time's gone on now that I've gotten ungated and a lot of stuff I'm not really just looking for the sales, the numbers to help me get ungated and and things. Uh, so, so now I'm a little more picky and I don't really want to buy something, send it in and only make a dollar profit unless I'm able to buy like a thousand of something, you know, then that's a thousand dollars. But if I'm only buying like six of something, it's six bucks and takes up room in the in the uh, container and then if the price drops more, then you know, it's just more trouble and all that <coughs> excuse me I have had this cough since February I don't know if it's a side effect of medicine I'm taking or or what it is but I just can't seem to get rid of this dry cough um, so I ended up not scanning that or not you know looking further and I really should have taken the time and looked at the keep it chart 
because now that they're down to two dollars I don't know if they normally sell for like twelve dollars but you know somebody went on and tanked the price which happens so often especially new sellers they jump on and they're worried they're not going to get their money back so they drop the price especially if they bought them at the four dollars and the price has gone down they're probably even more worried so they're dropping the price even more to hurry up and get rid of their stuff so they can get get money to buy more stuff so I should have looked to see if the history of the on those products was a good selling because fourth quarter I could could have bought them for two dollars it's not a lot of money to invest to have sitting around if the price was would actually go up and I could you know make six eight dollars for e on each of them and during fourth quarter so I probably will take the time at the next store because hopefully I don't have somebody just hanging over me and being rude and invading my six foot space don't they know I'm an introvert and I don't want to deal with them anyways uh so I didn't take the time to look at them up look them up further um, so there was a toy I was looking for in the toy aisle action figure and I didn't show you what it was maybe you saw it in my cart because I did a you know some videos with the cart where they were already in it you may have spotted it but I didn't really want to say what it was because um, you know a good ref reselling friend mentioned it to me and I just feel like when people share bolos with me I don't really feel comfortable sharing that bolo out on my channel so if I discover a bolo then I'll let you know then most of the time I've been letting you guys know because Thankfully, if you're watching my channel, it's at the beginning of my channel. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't get a lot of views. So when I share something, and I've said it a billion times on my channel so far, that when I share it, I know that the chance of 500 people going out and buying the same thing and putting it on the platform and taking the price is pretty slim because out of the, the 100 people, if I'm lucky, 50 people that watch a video, watch this video, out of those 50, maybe, maybe five will actually go and look for any product that I show. So I'm not as worried if only five of you jump on a listing and, and hopefully you're all respectful enough to match my price or even yeah, even nicer go above me and uh, let me sell out. But if you don't, that's, that's no problem. I don't mind sharing. If you're on Amazon, sharing the buy box. And I know I've been telling you guys for a while that there's things that you can pick up at Walmart for, for full price and double, triple, quadruple your money. And, you know, those items are, I don't think that, I think there's more demand than there is supply. So even though I'm telling you about them and a lot of people would be like, why are you telling somebody to go out and buy something that's going to compete with you? There is more demand right now than the supply. And if I was buying something wholesale and I was picking up, you know, hundreds, hundreds of them and they were replenishable and I was constantly replenishing them and I probably wouldn't tell you about those things because I wouldn't want people to jump in on my market share. But when something that you're lucky if you walk in, like the basketball cards, if you're lucky you walk in and find a pack or two or three or 35 like I did last week, then... You know, they're so hard to find out in the wild that I don't, I kind of, it's just that's like the thrill of the hunt, like how I feel hunting for those basketball cards. So when you find it, you're so excited versus, uh, let's say there's something that's out there that's out there all the time. There's some things, I, pr I probably should have checked at Walmart today. There's some things that I buy on a regular basis that is always at Walmart, usually all, always at Walmart. One of the products lately I haven't been able to find, but I would buy them and I would clear them, clear the shelf, maybe sometimes leave one behind, and you know, four or five of them that were on the shelf, and I would list those and they would sell out. And then I'd go back a few days later, they'd be restocked and I'd grab some more and sell those and they would be sold out. So I was, I've been doing that through, uh, through the pandemic, you know, once a week when I go and do my grocery pickup, I would still run in and, and target these, these, um, a few, you know, I only have a few products that I do that replenishables on and I'll go in and I'll target those and grab them. And those I don't really show because 
um, you know, I just, I like being the person who sells them when I get them in stock that they're buying them from me. So I've, sh I've shared them with a few friends and they're selling them on the same listing as I am. And so we share it. So when I run out, then they, you know, then they're selling theirs and so forth. But it's not something that I would want like a hundred people. And a year from now, if somebody's watching this video, I would still hopefully be selling those items. You know, remember the person, I don't know if y'all heard if you've been, how long you've been selling, but there was somebody buying, what was it? Oh, the everything bagel mix from Trader Joe's. And they were making thousands of dollars on that one product. And then they went on YouTube and they shared how they were making all this money on this one product. And then they shared the product. Hundreds of people went out and sourced that same exact product. Like that went around to so many um, like Facebook groups and YouTube channels. Like so many people were talking about it. And of course they had talked about it. Like so many people. That now when you go on that listing, the first of all, the price has tanked considerably. And I don't even think they sell it anymore. So you really have to be careful when you're on YouTube of what you share. Because you know, there are people who are just for the for the fast fast nickel right fast nickel slow dime or fast yeah fast nickel slow dime so there are some people who are only out for the fast nickel so they'll they'll undercut you they'll do whatever and I also heard that there are people who will will do like online arbitrage or like shopping like I do so when I shop I use a rewards card it's a carnival rewards card for cruises and I get points and in January, I went on a cruise, all expenses paid for myself. And um, and then my mother went with me and I used some of my points for hers and she, she paid me for her cruise. So then I used her cash to pay for my airfare because we flew to Miami. So it was my sister's 50th birthday. There was a bunch of us that went. So I use those points and there are people who do, who do cash back and they purposely will break even and just pay themselves with the cash back that they get. That's their profit. So when you're looking at something and you're like, how can somebody on Amazon pay $10 for an item and only make $10? Or not, not even make $10. Like your profit would be 10, but then by the time you do your cost of goods, you've made nothing. And you're like, why do people do that? Well, some of it is just because they don't know what they're doing. Some of it is, could possibly be their repricer. Um, but then there are some out there that don't care to make money off from Amazon itself. They want to make money off from their cash back. That's all they care about is spending $100,000 and getting, what, 2% 2, 2 back or... I, think, I don't know if there's any that are out there with 3% back. If there is, think about 3% back of 100000 and uh, that's 30,000 then you pay your fees you know so I mean if you're doing a million dollars and you're getting three percent back of a million dollars that's a pretty good payday just just in that and without even making money and I'm sure from time to time they do make money on Amazon but they're more concerned about probably flipping it quick to pay off their credit card bill so they don't pay interest that's what I do I pay, I put everything on a, on that credit card bill and I don't, I don't pay interest. I pay it off every month with my profits. So all right, I'm going to show you a little bit about where I live. See if I can flip this camera around and just give you a view of, uh, of the area I live in. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be in the great outdoors
Here, face masks have gone up in price. Check for pools. Ah, fishing. Looks like the pool stuff's in the back. It's not trading cards. Let's see where they might be. No, I think we may have to ask somebody. Okay, found the area. Let's see. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh! What do we got here? There's a prism. I wonder if those are any good. The soccer. I'll grab it and look it up. Bowman. No Gypsy Queen. Sometimes we're talking about that. I don't know if the Gypsy Queen are worth anything. I don't know about any of these other ones. Let's see, NFL, that's 2019. I think that's it. I don't think these are worth anything. 2019. And just look at this. Um, 2019. 2019. We're looking for the 2020s. 2019. Yeah, I don't see any here. I decided to pick these up. Because there is a little bit of profit to be made in them. And I will actually show you. Somebody drop something. So. I was doing my good deed and then it fell again, so now it's staying down. Alright, 
let's go look at, let's see, Clarence is actually back here. Actually, Clarence is way on the other side of the store. Hi, right, I'm gonna turn you off until we get to uh, some deals. All right, let me show you some things I got. I got this. It's $5. That was $4. I'm gonna buy that for myself. So, and then those, that's all I got so far. But the clearance is right over here. We'll take a look at that. down enough for me. Alright, let's see what we got. Hmm. No books are on clearance. Those would have been good back when the kids were in school still. Star Wars or anything. Three dollars. Game of Thrones. Those are five dollars. I think I might scan those. Oh, I'll be right back. Well, they have some health and beauty items. Thought somebody might get a kick out of that one. Maybe they need it. Twenty-three dollars. But they had some that are marked down. But honestly, none of them were really worth picking up price-wise they're still too high um, but I did want to show you I did pick up these Febreze vacuum filters and these Pioneer Woman spoon rests still looking almost getting to the end Ooh, here's some dr. Scholl's I'm definitely gonna have to check them out pretty sure I'm now ungated in them and now we'll see what else is down here I think that's it so I'm gonna check out the dr. Scholl's and I will uh, do a screenshot if I feel they're worth it all right so I did pick up a few of the dr. Scholl's these I'll only make three dollars on these, I think it was like an $8 profit, I can't remember. And those are for knee pain. And I actually picked those up for my husband. So now I'm looking at the pool stuff here. Let's see what we got. Nothing in this one. Let's see if they have another aisle. Mm. Doesn't look like what I'm looking for. Yeah, none down that one, so. All right, I'm heading to the toy section. Okay, I'm back outdoors and I picked up some stuff that I didn't show you in the store. I got these um, Linksys Villop Wi-Fi that sets you free. So it's the Tri-Band Series. And I think these are the ones that are going for like $300. And I paid $74. And I got two of them. And then I also got, I got this camera backpack case for $5, so that's profitable. And then the Google Wi-Fi home system here. And that one was $64.
So I'm pretty excited about those items. And uh, I don't think I got anything else that, oh, they had some HDMI cables that were $3, which was, I think, a great deal. I just paid $15 on clearance and everything else I think you saw. So yeah, good deals. Alrighty. So that was my second Walmart for today. And I have my husband here with me in the car. Not sure if he'll pop his head over to say hi or not. There you go. <laughs> Get it out of the way. So, um, so I showed, showed you what I got. And of course I struck out on the sports goods cards, which is what I was looking for. The, I was hoping to find those new football ones, but obviously the mosaic basketball ones would have been nice to find some more of those. Ones that I probably would have opened up instead of selling the packs because that was actually kind of fun. And you know, by the time I sell the cards, hopefully I'll make my money back plus. Um, you know, plus it was just fun being able to to open them on the air and see what I got and see if I could get a Zion, which I didn't get or all that kind of stuff. But so now we're gonna head home. I'm gonna unpack this stuff and tomorrow we're heading to New Hampshire which I mentioned earlier so uh, I've been borrowing my sister's backdrop for eBay uh, for the last uh, year I guess year and she would like that back so she's settled into her new place and wants to get back on eBay so I got to clear off that table that has all the stuff that I bought this morning actually I put on top of that so I got to clear that off plus what else was on that and deal with that and that is about it so I will I'm not sure if I'll upload this today or I might even actually record this weekend and include it as part of this but we'll see if you see this and there's nothing with New Hampshire on it then I decided to or I had the time to do it today and I'll let you know how New Hampshire goes though and what kind of goodies I find there I like New Hampshire because it's a tax-free state so any shopping I do, I don't have to worry about showing my reseller certificate or any of that kind of stuff. Um, and actually, I wanted to show you when I was in the checkout line, but there was just too many people around for me to pull out my phone and talk, was I have the reseller's card that you get for Walmart. So if you have a reseller certificate with your state, bring that to Walmart and they will issue a little card, a little white card, that you can bring and you hand it to the cashier before you check out and your items will be tax free if you live in a state that taxes. So anything that's for your reselling business. Um, here in New York is for anything that you're reselling. So I can't use it on like office supplies but for myself. I can only use it on, um, if I bought office supplies to resell, then I could. But. All right, thanks a lot for following along with me. And if you like this kind of content, hit your hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. And feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed right now and hit that bell notification. You know, as the Bearded Picker says, do the YouTubery. I would highly appreciate it. All right, thanks so much. Bye.